Oconomowoc, Wisconsin was named a city in 1865, and it was a very popular resort location for wealthy elites from Milwaukee, Chicago, and all the way to the St. Louis area. But before this land was settled by European settlers, the Potawatomi people had inhabited this area. They say a stock Indian chief named Blackhawk stayed in his tent just off the shores of Oconomowoc Lake. So rich with this history, it should come as no surprise that Oconomowoc has many ghost stories and legends from its surrounding lakes. Tales from a haunted statue in an old cemetery to lake serpent sightings in the murky depths of Lake Oconomowoc. Let's explore the paranormal side of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. See that one up there is supposedly a haunted mausoleum, the coal mausoleum up there. Let's check this one. A lot of them got that symbol too, what that means, I'm not sure. Somebody knows, I don't know. Let's go look it up. Yeah. So this is the haunted statue right here. Mary's yep, the statue, the Nathseus. Labelle Cemetery, originally called Henschel Place, was built in 1851 and it made two moves before landing in its final location where it is still in use today. Many people are buried here, but it's a particular four that gives this graveyard its ominous reputation. The Nathusius family has a plot in which a statue of a young woman watches over their eternal slumber. Four members of this family are buried here, including Louise, Carl, Carolina, and Wilhelm. Two additional female relatives are said to be buried at Dodge Cemetery, but it's one of these two girls that is said to haunt the Nathusius burial site. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, it's kind of creepy here by myself. <laughs> if there's anybody here, Silence is like no. shit's so creepy. Wish I had a... Is there anybody here that wants to talk to Laura or me? Can you say one of our names? Can you say Laura or Jenny? How many people are standing here? Can you see us? <sighs> this never gets more or less creepy. <laughs> yeah, can you make our meter blink again? If anybody wants to talk with us.
Yeah, come and talk to us. Make our meter blink. Make it go to red or orange if you're with us. Do you need help? Do you want to talk to us? What can we do to help you? Yeah, make it blink. If you want us to talk. One at a time. <laughs> How many people are standing here? Windy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. Oh, shit. oh, is it going? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think um, this place is pretty hot for yeah activity. Look at that. They're here. Is this your tomb? Do you want us to leave it? Can I knock on your door? I'm gonna knock. Is that okay? Will you answer? Hello? That was creepy. Ooh, God, I got a chill over here. Oh, you feel that? Yeah. Is there someone here? Can you prove to us you're with us? Should we take a tour around the graveyard a little bit? Yeah. Some pretty, pretty old markers here too. Blast this bad boy. Yeah, if anybody's following, just come and give us a signal. Ooh. Is there anybody over here? If you want to talk, talk into my camera, give us a message, or make a noise. Yeah, this is why I wanted to come. Oh, it's getting like colder too. You feel that change? Yeah. Whew, guys, we had like a burr. Yeah. Minnie, or Mary Nathusius, was 27 years old when she died, and according to legend, Mary committed suicide by jumping off the bridge in the cemetery, subsequently drowning herself. People say that they see the distressed girl's apparition clad in all white as she roams the cemetery, disappearing once approached, leaving many of those who've seen her questioning their own sanity. On full moon nights, it's said that Mary is heard weeping while she walks to the bridge to once again replay the events that took place there ever so long ago. On these very same nights, you may also see the statue's eyes and hands begin to bleed. Of course, these are all just legends, aren't they? Yeah, see, it doesn't even go off near the flashlight at all. Okay. Good. Well. <laughs> we needed a distraction. Keep the cops that way. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Miss Statue Mary? Or Mimi? Whoa, that was creepy. I'm recording. That? Ah, uh, sorry I blinded you, but oh my god, that, that sounded messed up. Uh, are you, are you here, Mary? Did you kill yourself here, Mary? 
Are you now haunting the cemetery because you're upset? Mary, can you say our names, Laura or Jenny? How many people are here? Did you jump off the bridge and kill yourself? Do you want to talk with us, Mary? Nothing on anything now. Not a thing. Oh shit, those are houses. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah. Hello? That right next to us. Hello? I think it's just so quiet. Yeah, it's like uncomfortably quiet. See, we started hearing all these noises. So, was that you making that noise? Blink it to red. Make it go all the way. Come on. I'm sorry. It feels like a Silent Hill video game. God damn, like Resident Evil stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. Are you here with us, Woolsey? It's not even blinking. No, nothing. Okay, sure. Nothing's peeking out behind graves on me. Right. It happens sometimes. I'm almost afraid to look at it. I know. Something's gonna like pop out at you. Last time I did this, Laura gave me a stroke, so I'm, I'm sketched. Hey, Y'all, I'm too scared to look. Y'all tell me what you see. How's the meter? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a blank. The Nathusias Monument was built in the 1940s by an Italian artist. Many people who come to visit leave pennies and flowers to honor Mary's restless spirit as the statue stands her mournful vigil. Many people have reported overwhelming sense of dread, especially in the vicinity of the statue. Also, witnesses claim to experience many abnormalities while being in the cemetery in general. Tales of crypt doors opening on their own, electronics and equipment malfunctioning without reason. Many more have reported cold spots, orbs in photos and videos, even cases where people became physically ill. So are the tales of Mary true? Did a young girl take her life in this cemetery oh so long ago? As with our many other cases, we probably will never know. Maybe it's best that we don't.
turn my x-ray back on. Regardless, this place is awesome for their buildings, you know. It's their giant crypts. Yeah. Do you want to get the other side and we can call it a night? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Take one last trip by Mary here. <clears throat> Find out. <laughs> All right. Finally, me made the experience more creepy. Because last time, I was just cold. Ooh, it gets so dark too. Let me kill my light here and let's see how dark that gets. Turn your light off. Let's just let's gauge how dark this is. Yeah, I know. Wow, pitch black guys, see that? Slider. <clears throat> building is awesome at night. Okay, I wanna try to get in this one. It's like somebody's got a key for it. Anybody with us? Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Just checking, you know. There's one more legend from Oconomowoc that I'd at least like to make mention of. According to reports in the 1890s, there was an increase in sightings of lake serpents in southern and northern Wisconsin. In the southeastern parts, sightings of a snake-like creature with a body that could have been up to 20 feet in length were being frequently reported. In a town very close to Oconomowoc, Watertown, my hometown, it was said a creature dubbed Rocky was to be terrorizing the community. When an officer and a friend took it upon themselves to fashion a giant lure made of large meat hooks and one bottle of whiskey in the middle to sedate the creature, after spending all morning on Rock Ripper, the men reported that the beast latched on to the homemade lure and drugged the boat with the men terrified inside of it, an agonizing five miles, when the line suddenly snapped. The monster was then witnessed to have dove under the rusty colored water, never to be seen again. Locals alike believe that Rocky was the same monster seen in Pewaukee, Oconomowoc, Lake Mills, and Cambridge. Another tale to keep us wondering. Exactly. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Where? I'll point the light wherever you want. I was just taking a general. Oh, picture. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you never know what you're gonna find. What's gonna show up? Whoa! I thought I saw a streak of light out of the corner of my eye. Could've, could've been a reflection. Yeah, that reflector thing? Yeah, it could've been that. Yeah, yeah, you could be right. I'm on edge, man. This is. It's creepy tonight. Ooh, who's with us? Oh, dang. Esther. Kukoski. Kukoski. Yeah, we got hits here last time, too. Look at that. Mm hmm. Anybody here want to talk? Go ahead. I always keep my ears out. Like, the animals are eerily quiet tonight, though. Yeah, all of them. Everything. Yeah, the ducks just went crazy and then went silent right before you got here.
Nice. Cool. Are you haunting this statue, Mary? Or Mimi? I'm gonna put the necro app on. Whoa. That was <laughs> creepy. I'm recording. Ah, uh, sorry I blinded you, but oh my god, that that sounded messed up. Are you are you here, Mary? Did you kill yourself here, Mary? Are you now haunting the cemetery because you're upset? Mary, can you say our names, Laura or Jenny? How many people are here? Did you jump off the bridge and kill yourself? Do you want to talk with us, Mary? I hope I can hear you. But we're in a kind of walk, Laura and I, and we're just kind of exploring the Lock Bell Cemetery, which is said to be haunted by the spirit of a teenage girl who had committed suicide from jumping off the bridge back here that we just walked on. And her, her spirit has been seen at the statue over here, and the statue is said to have her eyes.